In this lesson, we will explore what solid modeling is and why it is so important. Let's start with understanding what modeling is. From creating a sun using modeling dough, or a spaceship using building blocks, to making architectural models with wood or sculpting clay to design cars, those are all examples of modeling. Namely, creating a three-dimensional model of something. In the last few decades, a new form of modeling has become more and more popular, and that is solid modeling. Simply using our computers, we can take a real object and replicate it in a virtual space. We can build any type of geometry, from simple to incredibly complex. Modern products that already are or are becoming common in our everyday lives, like smartphones, drones, and many other consumer products, are designed using solid modeling. A solid model is the key to make this product successful, performant, and good looking. Solid modeling can help us discover if there are any design flaws. We can easily see the different pieces of a component and how they will fit together. We can visualize if the final design will look nice and quickly perform modification where needed. Also, a solid model is required to build any 3D printed object. In that case, the solid models must also include the internal structure that will be used to print them. We can also test solid models through engineering simulations to predict how well the design will work in real life and identify ways to further improve its performance. Engineers and scientists all over the world use ANSYS simulation technology to analyze many types of objects and physics. For example, we can study how hot and cold water flow through a faucet and how well they mix to get a uniform temperature before reaching the outlet. We can analyze how a structural component will deform under loads and then identify the critical points where the object may break and reinforce them. 3D models can be used to predict the aerodynamic performance of different vehicles, such as airplanes or cars. Also, we can analyze thermal loads or components' temperatures. We can study how the cooling system in a PC prevents the CPUs and other components from overheating during operations. Now that we know what solid modeling is and its importance, let's get ready to learn how to create solid models. 